It was the day of March 19, 2014. I was coming from a doctor's appointment with my youngest son. Um, we lived in the shelter. When I got there, I was confronted by a worker at the shelter. This is hard, y'all. They told me that my daughter was missing and they asked me where was she at. I gave them a family member's address to where I had left my child at and they came back and they told me that she wasn't there. I was questioned by FBI, the regular police department, undercovers. Khalil was a janitor who worked at the shelter. While I was being questioned, it came out that Khalil was a suspect after they found his wife deceased in a hotel. I've known Khalil for over some years. I met him through a family member who worked with him. After Khalil became a suspect, the FBI conducted a manhunt. They posted wanted pictures all over the news. Because someone did an anonymous tip it led the police to the park. They found Khalil's body. The authorities are saying that he died from apparent suicide. They are saying that Khalil plays a role in this by kidnapping my daughter. The last time I seen my daughter was on March 1st when I picked her up from a family member's home and took her shopping and brought her back to that family member's home and left her there. There were 18 days that went by before I found out that my daughter was missing. I never gave my daughter to Khalil. I don't even know how they ended up at the hotel together. When I saw the footage of Khalil and my daughter walking down a hotel hallway, that made my mouth drop. I was trying to figure out how she got from my family to this crazy hotel. I questioned my mom because deep down in my heart, I feel as though she plays a role in her disappearance. I believe my mom handed my daughter over to Khalil. I never seen you cry. Oh, I you seen me cry. I never you seen, seen me cry. you cry. cry. Did you have any involvement in your daughter's disappearance? No. How did you not know that she had been missing for 18 days? I didn't have any contact. Why not? I didn't have a phone. This janitor that you see in the video, what was your relationship with him? Khalil. I didn't have a relationship with him. He had a relationship with a family member of mine. OK, so you had no relationship with him? No. Your child because went to a hotel room with a grown man. But how did she get there? I didn't get permission, so who gave permission? Not me. Do you believe that your daughter had something to do with your granddaughter's of course. disappearance? You do. I believe. Your daughter's adamant that you gave I know. your, I your know. granddaughter Tell to... Tell her to take the lie detector test. Mm. I took it. Okay. Did you participate in any way in the disappearance of Relisha? You answer no. Have you ever had any sexual physical contact with Relisha? You answered no. Did you ever strike any of your children leaving marks or bruises? You answered no. The results came back the same to each and every question, and they came back that Antonio told the truth. <laughs> Melissa, you took a lie detector test, and we asked you, did you participate in any way in the disappearance of your granddaughter? You answered no. Did you give your granddaughter to Khalil Tatum around the time of her disappearance? You answered no, and the results came back that you, Melissa, told the truth. <laughs> She's right. 
You don't have to take a test, but you're not eliminating yourself as a suspect in the disappearance Let of your daughter. Let me tell daughter. you something. Okay. I talk to the police. I talk to the police day to day. And I'm not, they don't never discuss me. They discuss other people. Well, some people then that not police here, department, I'll go on record saying right now, if they're people, not looking at you, then they don't know their ass from a hole in the ground. I know. Boys back. Boys so someday, hopefully, hopefully that little girl is found. Oh, she will and be. And when she's found, then hopefully you'll go away. Yeah. No. You, I believe, you have believe? something to do with her disappearance. Okay. The fact That's that you what don't you believe, believe the janitor didn't have anything to Everybody do. Everybody got their own. Everybody wants to stick up people him, out here that makes said me think got nothing to do You with had too. an inappropriate relationship yeah. with that man. And you know what? Yeah, You're no good mother either. Get the the only good I thing, all, the King only King. good thing in this show that came out of it is you clear your name, and you clear your name, and I hope that one more good thing comes out of this, that when this show airs, that whoever is investigating this disappearance look at her, yeah. and they go after her. Uh, Shamika, what's happened? Uh, since you appeared on my show in 2017? Um, I've been holding my head up, doing what I need to do to better myself. I have two jobs now. It must still weigh on you uh, very much that your daughter still has been found. Uh, no, she hasn't. When you watch the clips of being on the show, wh what do you feel about it? I don't feel no type of way about it because I'm a strong individual and all I can do is hold my head up because at the end of the day, everybody is still going to have their own options and own opinions to this. Like, nobody can judge me but the man upstairs himself. Now, you got a lot of negative comments on social media after the show aired. Did you read those comments? I read some of them and some of them I just scrolled on through. They couldn't understand how a mother wouldn't do everything possible to A, to uh, clear her name uh, so that the police could focus on other things, whereas you wouldn't take a lie detector test. Um, you don't seem that cooperative, and that you almost seem evasive. If they're considering me as evasive because I don't speak or I don't post on the things that I am doing for my daughter, then so be it. I don't have to let the whole world know what I am doing for my daughter. If they want to know I'm currently active on my daughter's case, yes, I am. I talk to the new detective that's on there, but I don't have to let the world know that. Now, three years ago, we refused, we asked you to take a lie detector test. You were, you refused three years ago to take it. If you were here now when we offered it to you, would you take it? No, I wouldn't take it, because why would I put my trust into something, into a machine, Steve? That's, that machine is not going to help me find my daughter. That machine is not going to help me with anything. It's not going to tell me where my daughter at. It's not going to do anything for me. Now, your ex, Antonio, he passed the lie detector test that he was not involved in your daughter's disappearance. Do you believe in Antonio's results? No, I don't. Do you believe Antonio was involved with the disappearance of your daughter? Yes, I do. Now, we have this age progression picture at age 15, I believe, right? She would be 15 years old now? She is 15, yes. 15. And uh, when you see this picture of your daughter, what she would look like at 15... I mean, to me, it looks... That picture looks like her, but it looks more so like me. Well, she's your daughter, right? I mean, yes, yeah, she's my daughter, but... The skin tone of the up-to-date picture looks a little darker. In your heart, do you believe that your daughter is still alive today? Yes, I do. I, I don't get it with you, because you you're so mad at me. To me. You're so mad at me because I keep releasing name out there. I keep her relevant. No, I'm, the one I'm mad at you events. because I'm the one doing this. who are you to tell anybody to stop talking about my daughter, Antonio? That's not right. You don't hear me telling anybody like that. And then who are you? for you to keep worrying about what I'm doing, how do I get my job? You got a job, too, to better yourself. The only thing that I got to say to you is stop stalking me. Screw yourself. 
Five First and foremost, I'm not stalking you. I'm far from stalking you. Are. If I was stalking you, you I would be you on your life right now. I'm not stalking you. What you need to do is tell everybody where Melissa is. Because at the end of the day, I'm going to always be there for Melissa. I was more of a parent to her than you was. You say that the police do have new leads into Relisha's disappearance? Yep. A and video, he's talking about a video that I have spoken to the new detective about. Yes, I have. I know all about the video and come to find out the person who sent the video to the police, it was not my child. So I know all about that, sir. For you okay. that think I'm not talking to the detective. My theory is Shamika handed over his militia in the wrong place at the wrong time and that she got herself into a situation that she didn't know how to get out of. Yeah. And and in result, Relisha paid the price for it. Well, my thing is, I, I, I think the big red flag in this story is that there was an 18-day period where Shamika had no idea where her daughter was, made no effort to have any contact with her daughter. Um, I believe because she was hiding something. I think that quite possibly be it. And then the, the guy who ends up killing himself, who killed his wife, kills himself. How does that man end up walking down a hallway in a hotel or motel uh, with the daughter? You know, it's just, it's mind boggling uh, the mistakes that were made with this little girl. When when I found out the day that Relisha was missing, you know, Khalil, he was still at the shelter. Feel me, those whole like that's why I'm so mad too, Steve, because he was the el he was still at the shelter. He was pushing the janitorial cart towards the elevator. I was coming down, coming out from getting questioned from the police. We smoked me a cigarette because my mind, I'm like, okay, my okay, she missing. So I see Khalil, long story short, I say, Khalil, they saying you got militia, the police officer is looking for you, you need to go up there and talk to him. He's like, okay, let me uh go put this cart up. And then he turned around and said, Mr. Antonio, I'm not trying to keep your daughter. I'm going to bring her back. Those are the last words Khalil told me. And he left from where I was standing at, left, walked past like 12 police cars to get to his truck and go do what he ever did. And so he walked past the police too. So they, the, they dropped the ball too. If Relisha somehow watched this show, is watching you right now, you know, when this airs, what would you say to her? Melissa, daddy love you. I'm going to keep fighting for you. I'm, I'm looking. I never gave up. And when we find you, you will be forever safe. You will never leave my side again. Promise you. Um, and, 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 and listen, let's all hope that she does see this and she's out there and that she's able to uh, come back to the people that love her. Uh, but I, 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 the very minimum of what happened here was Shamika was derelict as a mother. She, if she did the simple fact of checking into her daughter every day, uh, cared for her daughter, stayed in her daughter's life on a daily basis, I don't think this would have happened. You know, I, I always, you know, because Shamika, she was always quick to give up when it was when it was when a, when when it was getting hard for her parents and when I was out of town. So she will always, you know, threaten the kids with little with little sidebars and stuff. So she would she was always the type of parent that would give up and she always told the kids that she would give them away. So it's just like now is the fact that this actually happened. Like you know what you did with Belisha or you knew what was gonna happen with Belisha. just so just come to now, come clean. And, now Antonio, I know that you don't have a relationship with Shamik anymore. But do you have any idea if Shamika and her mother still talk? Yeah, they do. They live together. Oh, they live together. Mm -hmm. That's that's a little surprising. Well, thank you for joining us, Antonio. Again, if there's any developments, please contact us, and we wish you nothing but the best. Thank you, Steve. Take care, Antonio. Our producers have been actively keeping tabs on Relisha's case. As of today's taping, Relisha would be 18 years old. Sadly, there have been no updates to share and the case remains open and under investigation. If anyone has any information on the whereabouts of Relisha Rudd, please reach out to the Metropolitan Police Department at 202-265-9100.